Hey y'all, it's Robin with Table Talk with Robin and today I'm coming to you with a video in a collaboration called How to Decorate with Blue and White Porcelain Chinoiserie Chic Decor. This collab is being hosted by Glamour Ellen and Danielle the Domestic Scientist and their co-host are Life on Greenwood with Karen 1310, Renters Love Luxury by N, Elegant Designs by B, Dee Mom Boss, Gigi Faison for the Love of Home Decor, Chanel of Inspired by Chanel, Joy Candy, The Rogers House, The Glamorous Fern, and Mike and Belle's Life. In this collab, we were to decorate any area of our home using blue and white colors. It could be a whole room, a vignette, a coffee table, uh, any space in your home. And if you have chinoiserie items, you could use those as well. Now you guys know I had to do a patio table styling. So this is the one that I wanted to show you. I went through several changes trying to figure it out. I start out with one idea, like I said before, and my tablescapes seem to take a life of their own and I just follow their lead. So um, what I did here was use some of my chinoiserie pieces and then I added some other um, blue and white um, to create a more boho chic style for this tablescape. It's fairly simple. Um, I used yellow as my accent color and then the runner has um, some boho type uh, patterns on it as well in the colors in the colors that I was using. Now I did a little bit something different with the placemats. I used three of them in the corresponding colors uh, for the tablescape um, and I layered them with the cobalt blue one on top. Added some cobalt blue glasses for wine, iced tea, water, whatever you drink. The napkins are, one of them is a tie-dye-ish pattern with a yellow overlay. And then I have a blue wooden napkin ring to hold it together. The top plate, which is my salad plate, is um, an oriental design. And then the plate up under it, the dinner plate, is white with a blue uh, ribbon trim in it. I forgot to tell you that this table is 95 to 96% all thrifted items. The only thing that I purchased from a retail store were the yellow candle pedestals, which were purchased from the Dollar Tree. They were white and I spray painted them yellow, and then the napkins. Everything else was purchased from the thrift store. I think this setting makes for a wonderful brunch or um, early, late evening dinner. My grandbaby said that she really liked it and so I'm going to create a tablescape for her next weekend. have two pieces on this table that are a little bit different. I think this was a incense burner, wax incense burner or wax uh, candle burner and I think there's a bowl that was supposed to go to it but I didn't have the bowl. I was only able to purchase the bottom base of it so it still is real pretty and then the um, little three part utensil holder or condiment um, caddy I don't know what it is but it's cute too okay so here is my indoor fancy Fancy smancy. <laughs> Blue and white chinoiserie tablescape. I don't generally do real fancy. I can do it, but I'm a pretty simplistic girl. I like pretty. Um, I like colors. But fancy fancy, I don't do a lot of it. But this, I think, brings 
my boho spirit in. This tablescape is probably 50% retail and 50% thrift. I decorated my whole dining room for this one. Oh, and also some of it is from my grandmommies. I'll show you what is what. Okay, so there's different styles of chinoiserie here. Um, some old, some new. First off, the mirror, blue mirrored octagonal placemats are from Z Gallery. I purchased them a few years ago when they went out, went on sale, and then they don't, they stopped carrying. They discontinued it. So that's one of the few things that I have from Z Gallery. I think Z Gallery is fairly expensive, and you can find stuff at either Home Goods, CJ Maxx, or Marshalls that actually comes from Z Gallery. So I just wait. The flatware is from the thrift store. It was either a 10 or 12 piece set, the complete set, and I got it for either 10 or $15 in the case. The charger plate is from I'll go through and show you uh, pieces of it individually. Um, there's clear glass with the gold beads. I got them from a store called Steinmart, um, which went out of business with the COVID pandemic, but they have an online store now, I believe. The dinner plate and the salad plate, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna call it a salad plate. Are, are from um, either TJ Maxx or Marshalls. The next plate with the peonies and the bowl are from, I believe, Hobby Lobby. And then the chinoiserie Shin bar, bar chinoiserie porcelain balls. I've gotten them from everywhere. They're from some of them from uh, Amazon.com, some from the thrift store. I think I got a couple from Pier One before they went out of business, business and became online. Also, the pandemic kind of hurt a lot of businesses. The napkins. Uh, I'm not sure where I got those from. They're white men and I didn't do anything fancy with them. I just folded them and put them under the primary dinner plate. The glassware is from Amazon.com and it's a set of six multicolor green, like a turquoise, a navy cobalt blue, really deep dark red, a gold, and an amethyst color. All the place settings are the same. Square beveled glass mirror tray in the middle is from the thrift store as well. And then I've adorned it with several sizes of chinoiserie vases, and all of that, everything on there came from the thrift store. Everything. The candle pedestal in the middle is so, so pretty. And it, I put a little bowl with uh, cutouts in it, the top and the bottom, and it's a candle holder. The little jars are solid pepper shakers. I also get them from the thrift store, as well as the little jar that has um, gold in it, gold engraving. That's a really good picture of it. And then the big 
big ginger jars. I got them from Ross. It's either Ross or Home Goods. And then my Dollar Tree candle, candle pedestals is what they're sitting on. And then my two little tigers or leopards or panthers with the succulents in them came from Walgreens. which is the only thing that this table needed because of all of the intricate designs of the chinoiserie. Um, it came from Home Goods. And then I did a little touches of color with some um, violet, um, pink, yellow and blue flowers. Not a lot of them because again, because this, the patterns are so intricate, you don't need a lot of stuff, a lot of other things to compete with it. You just let the chinoiserie shine all on its own. And so you can mix and match lots of chinoiserie pieces, blue and white, you don't just have to go with one simple pattern. You can use lots of different patterns. And then this piece here, the uh, condiment tray came from my grandmommy. You've seen it before, as well as the appetizer um, hors d'oeuvre tray and it rotates and I actually got that from the thrift store and I paid $10 for it. It is absolutely beautiful and if you take the little the little condiment tr uh, tray sits right in the middle there's a bowl where you could put dips or whatever but this is this is one of my best finds also. The candlesticks are from the thrift store. See they also have a different pattern. And then the two vases next to it with the little flowers. They came from Ross. And then this large vase here. I really don't remember where I got this one from. But again, some very simple flower pattern. And then on my bar cart, blue wine glasses that came from the Dollar Tree. And then the little chinoiserie candle bowls. And the blue and white vase, or uh, actually picture that I'm using as a vase. They came from the thrift store. So I have one more surprise for you. I did a third tablescape. I was on a roll. I wanted to do one with my abstract blue and white uh, dinnerware along with the chinoiserie. Some of the pieces are the same from the previous tablescape. I rearranged some things and added some things. So I'm gonna give you a quick look because this has been a really long video. All of the dinner plates are the same. They are white with a navy blue or cobalt blue splatter. Then the salad plate, each one of them is different and the bowls are the same as the salad plates. And what I did was put the bowl that matched the salad plate um, together, as you can see with that one. And then the appetizer plate is another set of plates that are abstract and they have a gold rim. And then I put the chinoiserie balls in the uh, bowls. <coughs> Excuse me. I added my Lazy Susan hors d'oeuvre tray in the middle with the candle pedestal. 
And then I added two cobalt blue chinoiserie vases with some um, gold uh, capiccio uh, leaves, uh, stems in the middle. So this is my surprise for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed my three creations and I hope that you were able to pick up some tips on how to set your next blue and white tablescape. <clears throat> I want to thank all the ladies that were hosting this collab. I really enjoyed participating um, and hopefully we'll be able to participate in many more. If you enjoy creating beautiful and fun tablescapes, then I would appreciate it if you would like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel and then hit the notification bell so you can be alerted to when I upload new videos. You won't be disappointed. So you guys take care, be blessed, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!